today in our social studies lesson, um, I'm having the children work together in small groups to uh, talk about a video that they watched yesterday. The routine that I've chosen to use to structure their dialogue uh, today is the Connect Extend Challenge routine. And I know that yesterday with the substitute you watched a video uh, about the story of Lucy, one of the biggest archaeological findings that uh, has happened in the past oh, uh, 10 years or so. And what I asked you to do last night for your homework was, after watching that video, um, write in your social studies journal a little bit about how did that video and watching that video connect with some of the things that you had already been thinking about and all the kinds of things we've already been researching? How did something in that video extend your thinking in some way, take your thinking in new or further directions? And then I also, also asked you to think a little bit about and write in your journal, what are the puzzles that still come up in your mind about this whole idea of searching for human origins and, and, and the beginnings of human society? So, what I'd like you to do today here in your small groups is, I'm going to give you five, six minutes or so. I want you in your small groups to talk a little bit about what were some of the connections and extensions to your thinking that this video gave you a chance to do. Um, I never thought that the Australopithecus was monkey-like because in our book it just said that it was our ancestor and I really didn't think that it would have all this, that hair and it would really look like a Yeah, monkey. I know. I just kind of thought it would be like a caveman or something. They, just, they described it more also. Yeah. It did, it, 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 yeah. And, and uh, I think the biggest... Uh, can I go now? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, it, it really extended my thinking about how they get fossilized, like you said before. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in water. Again, as you said, with the water, I mean, you would have thought that like making fossils would have to do with water. Yeah, but yeah I never thought about the water. Yeah, I know, because it's like a dry rock uh, yeah. bone covered in rock. It, uh, but it may be, I think it may be a little bit more similar to ape than human. And uh, yeah, like you said, the biggest connection is that they walked upright. Mm -hmm. For the connection I'm discerning about, um, I never, I only knew that she was from the Australopithecus. And I'm writing about the fossilizing. And I, and I will write about, um, what should I write about? I'm very interested to see what kinds of responses that they say um, as far as how does this presentation of the information via a video, how does it um, extend their thinking. So I'm going to be looking for their responses there and, and seeing and trying to notice what the kids pick up on um, and, and seeing if they are still inquisitive, are they still um, engaged in the puzzles of this entire study. I never realized that how different our knees were than from monkeys. I always thought that monkeys were kind of the same. I never realized and how that that wouldn't be possible. Kind of, yeah, I never I thought never, about that. Yeah, the connection in monkeys is quite different. How the how the bones connect that makes them bend. <laughs> That's why it's like they can jump higher. And, yeah, but but it's harder. Like they said in the video, it's harder to, for them to walk. And the biggest advantage for humans and uh, and Lucy is uh, yeah, no, is being able to carry yeah. with with their. But the legs like supporting your, yeah. your upper body. Yeah. Okay. Were there any new, were there any new connections or extensions? Yeah, just write your last thing down for now, and because it's time for us to kind of turn to some whole class talk about the connections and extensions bit. One of the reasons why I want you to write it down in such a way like this is these little sheets just give me a little bit of the highlight of what everybody at your table was thinking. I want to turn our focus for our discussion right now into a whole group kind of talk. But let's get a highlighted list. What were some things that really connected with what we've been thinking before? Wu Young? Uh, we learned that um, uh, like early humans began to wa walk. Okay. And in the video, it showed that they walked. Something else. No, Jose Maria? To, to read what Wu Young said. Yeah. Um, they they uh, also walked up right in open plains so that they could see like if they were under an attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. Because they, we heard, um, and with and walking with beasts, that um, they were usually like slow, and um, they weren't so they were like 
um, yeah. prey for many um, animals and yeah, stuff. Okay, so I'm capturing this whole, the whole idea, or this is a real big connection, early humans began to walk. What were some other connections um, that came from your viewing of the video? Helen? Um, the topography. And what about it? Um, we thought that it might be more like what we saw in science class in the Walking with Beast movie. Okay, some other highlights of connections. Some things that connected on. Something that connects to my thinking is that, like, I, rem I had this sort of idea that um, what one, one find, something found, can really change a whole view of um, what may have happened. Mm -hmm. Like the knee joint, for example, um, they found the knee joint, and that led them to like a whole new um, interpretation and investigation. A turning point. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a turning point. Like how one thing could just and change their whole story. Yeah, and, and it could stop many. Um, and there are, yeah, interpretations. Other ideas of connections. Niha? I read in the in Message of Ancient Days that it was like that archaeologists have many ideas of their of one piece of fossil one fossil. And it said um and it said that but it also said in the movie that archaeology is full of false trails. Okay. This whole idea that interpretations could be quite temporary then, mm -hmm. depending on what we find. I want to turn our talk just for a few more minutes about these extensions. I mean, did you know everything that was in the video already? Or were there some things in that video that you thought, wow, that takes my thoughts in new or further, deeper directions? Can we have some examples of those? I kind of thought that they would be like, have humanly traits, have skin. But then in the movie, I saw that they really did look like monkeys, except for they were standing up. And I had always thought that they would be more human-like. Okay. Jiho, you had an idea of maybe uh, uh, an extension. Where did it take your thinking? Like, uh, like, I sort of knew that they walked in two feet, but in the movie they like, put it as the great toe was connected to the other four toes. Um, I didn't know that once they found one of Lucy's bones that it was so hard to find more of them. I thought you would see them more or less in the same area, but they had to go looking f quite far away to find the rest of them. <laughs> so the extension you're thinking is it's not as easy as just yeah. digging up and finding something. Yeah. That this could be somebody's life's work, years and years, just to find one thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at the beginning I thought that um, their brains got bigger before they started to stand up, but in the movie it said that um, the, the human, they straightened their legs, then, they, then mm. they got smarter. Yeah. So it was just the whole development of the brain, of walking, and kind of when what happened was something that was extended in your thinking by watching this particular presentation. Mm -hmm. I asked you to connect with ideas. I've asked you to think about how your ideas were extended or how your thinking was extended. Now I want you to think about the challenge or the puzzle in this whole topic just in general. Um, I had, how do we know for sure that it's from a certain place? Because like we learned before that there are lots of movement in the earth and something that could be on the top of a place and it could be moving down and up again. It could be moving all around, so we never really know exactly where it's from, do we? How do they know that it's our early sense? It may have been the, the oldest thing that they found, but do they have to label it as our early ancestor yet? Because how do they know that? I, I think that if we were ever related to, the, to them, how come those were so similar to monkeys? And we are so much, uh, no offense to the monkeys, but we're more uh, intelligent. So how come they like say that, that the monkeys are ancestors? Mm -hmm. We do have lots of resemblance to them, but that yeah, doesn't necessarily mean that we are connected to them. But finding this, mm -hmm. finding Lucy kind of bridge, made the bridge between mm -hmm. those gaps. And, yeah. yeah. One thing that surprised me um, when the students were talking about what extended or what was extended in their thinking once they viewed the video was the fact that um, though archaeologists are finding these kinds of things all of the time, it's really just the one particular one that might change it all is quite a difficult thing and I really felt the students picked up on that. Um, I was quite pleased to hear one student uh, pick up on the notion that interpretation is really quite tentative based on evidence, based on what is found, and therefore one find really can change our whole perspective on the entire subject of how humans began.